Can you see my smile? Why? Look at how many weeks are there that we have completed. We are finishing 52 weeks. Week 52 of 52. So, before listening to the Word of God, I promise to be short because I'd like to give more time to our outstanding guest as a life sharer of this last segment and final season of being grateful for the gift of the Catholic faith so that we could pass it on to the next generation. Just two more days and we shall be there 500 years of the first baptism. And he came to his hometown and began teaching them in their synagogue, with the result that they were astonished and said, Where did this man acquire this wisdom and these miraculous powers? Is this not the carpenter's son? Is his mother not called Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? And his sisters, are they not all with us? Where then did this man acquire all these things? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not dishonored except in his hometown and his own household. And he did not do many miracles there because of their unbelief. Having read that uh, passage from Matthew chapter 13, and we realize that Jesus is now known simply as the son of a carpenter, and for which Joseph himself is not even mentioned by name, but just his profession, career. And yet, we could know very well that uh, earlier in the life of the Savior, Joseph figured out as a very important principal person if we have Jesus as an adult, it's because we have Joseph in his childhood. Like this, the Holy Father, Pope Francis, says, In the middle of the night, Joseph takes his wife and his newborn son. They flee the country heading to Egypt. Although it was not Joseph's plan, and he had certainly never been to Egypt before, not knowing how long he's supposed to be there, where to settle, what to do, where he can tell anyone or anything else but God's inspiration in a dream. That was enough light for him to take the first step of a journey and then it's up to him to figure out what to do until the angel would return. I don't know, two years, three years, few months? We don't know. Because God would enter into a silence, into silence, leaving Joseph just to do what he thinks best. Joseph, of course, was left to trust, but at the same time he had to act immediately in this flight to Egypt. So the Holy Father mentions him as the man in the shadows. It's taken from a book uh, how Joseph was taking the place of the true father of Jesus the Heavenly Father. And Joseph takes over to watch over Jesus, protect him, never leaving him to just go on his own way. Now, it's beautiful how the Holy Father says about the relationship of Joseph as the earthly shadow of the Heavenly Father. In what way he brought up a son from infancy towards adulthood. In this few slides, you will see how the father coaxes his young child, his young son, to approach him. Then they would walk together, oftentimes, and even discuss what could be the future in front of him. 
And when he is old enough, sit down and make things clearer what life is all about, what to prepare in the future, in what manner he sees would be the task of his son, his purpose in life, his vocation. But at one point, he must just accompany him, hand over the shoulder, without becoming a domineering dad, without being possessive. All he has to do is to believe and to trust that one day his son will be on his own and would find his own place under, under the beautiful horizon that the father has entrusted to him. And so when Pope Francis concluded his letter, Patris Corde, he said, when fathers refuse to live the lives of their children for them, new and unexpected vistas open up, and every child is the bearer of a unique mystery that can only be brought to light with the help of a father who respects that child's freedom. A father who realizes that he is most a father and educator at that point is when he becomes useless, when he sees that his child has become independent and can walk the path of life unaccompanied. And so now, let us listen to a concluding word on this experience of ours on the year of St. Joseph. Thank you.